just dropped all her off to school and thinking about um, what's going on this week, what's going on today, um, and how it's all going to play out for the long term. Um, so a couple things in, uh, in my mind right now. The first thing is with Reforge, um, thinking about what do I, how do I need to change the structure of my thinking and how I think about my days as I take on more of this product manager role. And one thing that I realized is that I'm relying too much on Dan to dictate the overall strategy for the week, for the month, and then for the long term. Uh, and I need to be the one who is dictating that strategy as well as executing it. And I think part of the reason that I haven't been doing it is I've been feeling overwhelmed with how much time uh, executing the strategy takes. And so I've been so busy executing and, and doing the things that need to be done that I hadn't gotten a chance to think, to, to take a step back, look at the 30,000 foot view and decide, okay, here are the things that we should be doing this week and this month. So I think what I'm going to be doing is taking Monday mornings in order to sit back, think about those things, and then make suggestions to Dan, work out the strategy for the week and for the month, and then go out and execute. It's a tricky balance, right? Because you can't, uh, Dan is able to lay things off on me, but I don't have someone else to lay things off of. And so I need to be doing both things and it can feel like, it can feel overwhelming, but that's just, uh, the, the problem is that I don't have all the tactical st skills yet. And so I need to put time and get better at the technical marketing stuff, as well as developing my own ability to map out the strategy so that Dan and Brian feel comfortable about my ability to think long-term and to be able to um, use resources in an intelligent and effective way. So that's kind of what's been on my mind with, uh, with Reforge and with Shogun. You know, I had this on my calendar to schedule the next uh, Shogun photo shoot. And uh, last night I was looking at what, what we had planned for this week and I had planned like kicking it further down the, down the, kicking the can further down the road. But um, I'm trying to get better at really treating the calendar as my religion and being beholden to the calendar, which means if I schedule something, it's gotta happen that week. Um, I don't just schedule things to continue kicking them further down the road. And so I need to, uh, I need to get that in this week. So maybe Wednesday or Thursday, head down to Shogun and take some more photos. Um, and I've just been thinking more about making sure that I'm, I'm in this initiative for the long run, and I, I think I am. Um, what are the differences if I'm in it for the long run versus the short run? Um, I think that uh, continuing to be patient and not feel like I am, not feeling bad about the missed opportunities, which I know are there, um, but there's just really not a whole lot I can do about it because of limited time, limited resources. So for example, I was thinking today that um, we should be doing a, we should doing we should be doing a paid campaign against uh, March Madness and running Facebook ads, running uh, Instagram ads against that. And uh, it feels like a missed opportunity that we're not getting that in there. And I was thinking, oh, should I rush and get something out? But um, the fact of the matter is I just don't have the bandwidth to create and execute a campaign uh, right now. So it just it's just one of those things I need to file away and, and have a plan in place for next year to be able to run those kind of paid campaigns against things like March Madness, things against things like St. Patrick's Day um, and having a full schedule out. Um, I think if I could continue to prove out that there's value in doing this social media marketing and that um, the money that we put into it, there'll be a solid uh, ROI, then next year we'll be in a better place to uh, execute. But, you know, just got to be patient and just remember the fact that I'm, I'm trying to do a lot right now and that not all of it's going to be done at, at 100% or even 90%. Like right now, it's probably being done at 50% to be completely honest. Um, but I'm slowly building up the systems so that we'll be able to execute at a, uh, at a higher quality bar. Um, and it just... It just takes time to manage all that and get it all in place. So, um, all right, I think that's that's it. I think there are a few more things I don't want to talk about, but uh, we are getting close to home, so I'm going to wrap this up. 
and maybe check in later today with how else, uh, how other things are going. Here we have a lawyer pod in her natural environment. Saving the world. <laughs> One immigrant at a time. Lawyer pad. Hello. Welcome to my office. <laughs> Here I am on hold with the government. As per usual. With her dual monitor set up. And second today, desk. Hopefully. <laughs> you want to stand up? Okay, come on. The traditional Chinese plateware. Serve it in a measuring cup. <laughs> Here we are making dumplings on our fine Monday evening. Nom nom nom. Nom nom nom. <laughs> You look ridiculous with that big red cup. <laughs>